I'm Jennifer Angel. This is my report for the week of March the 7th. So Sagittarius, it's all mainly happening in your solar fourth house, all around your home and your family area of life. So f f this week, this is a new moon. It's a solar eclipse. It's a total eclipse. It's a super moon. So it's got a lot of energy, you know, behind it. So you can have a like a fresh start, something to do around your home and, and uh, family matters. Now Venus is going to move into this area of your chart as well um, at the end of the week. So it's almost like you're sitting, setting up home and, you know, putting uh, roots down and having a lovely time there. And I don't mean to sound surprised, but you are, you know, one of the most independent signs and uh, I have a Sag rising. So, you know, I've moved around a lot in my life. So <laughs> treat her as Sag, but you, you do have have uh, Saturn in your sign too and that helps you put roots down and helps you get things stable for the future and it doesn't mean to say that you're not going to travel or still be independent but it's great to have a home base and right now I feel that that's a good thing for, for Sagittarians to do and focus on and also an opportunity to, to mend past hurts within the family as well anything that's gone down you want to sort of bring it up and you've got an opportunity to clear it at the moment, okay? Um, and particularly as Venus sits in the area of communi communication. Now, we do have an opposition between the Sun and Jupiter. Jupiter uh, being a ruling planet and, of course, Jupiter being the co-ruler of, uh, or traditional ruler of Pisces, being right opposite to gifts that, like, also an extra punch even though it is retrograde at the moment but it sits in your career zone um, and with that opposition there could be some conflict between uh, your home and work that you're going to have to make some allowances in some way okay so that's life what can I say um, life does come with its you know inevitable compromises uh, but we there is a uh, connection between Mercury and Jupiter as well and uh, uh, Mercury and Neptune as well so it's a very inspired it's uh, um, energy and you know it can inspire you to just um, connect with people and connect with the people who mean the most to you in the world, okay? All right, love and like to you. I do hope you have a great week. Bye for now.